this is how to install Jellyfin Media Server in Ubuntu 19. Start the terminal. Type sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade dash y upgrade. Next, type sudo apt install dash y curl apt dash transport dash https. Next step, sudo add dash apt dash repository universe okay, next type echo quote deb bracket arch equals dollar sign parenthesis dpkg dash dash print dash architecture parenthesis bracket https colon slash slash repo dot jelly fin dot org slash ubuntu dollar sign parenthesis lsb underscore release dash c dash s parenthesis main quote vertical bar sudo t slash etsy slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash jellyfin dot list enter your password okay next step curl HTTPS colon slash slash repo dot jellyfin dot org slash ubuntu slash jellyfin underscore team dot gpg dot key Vertical bar sudo apt dash key add and da dash. Okay, next sudo apt update. Sudo apt install dash y jellyfin
Okay, next type sudo system ctl start jellyfin dot surface. Okay, you can close this window. Start Firefox. Type HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.200, which is my static IP address, colon 8096. Okay, we've started the uh, Jellyfin wizard. Click Next. Then type a name and password. Then click Next. Okay, here we can add a media library. All I have right now is one movie, so I'm going to click, click on Movies. Then Add Folders. And I'm going to type the path, which is home slash joe slash jellyfin is where I have my video. <clears throat> and I'm going to uncheck these meta downloaders. And then click OK. And then click Next. Next. I'm going to uncheck these because I don't want to access this from outside of my home network. And then click Next. And Finish. Okay, now sign in. Okay, here I'm at my home section and it's showing my one movie. If you click the three dashes in the upper left corner, we can go to the dashboard. And here you can restart or shut down the server. On the left we can click users and add more users. Click the plus sign. Type the name of the user. Enter a password. And enable access to all libraries. And then save. Okay, allow this user to manage the server. Only check that if you want them to have administrator privileges. Okay, I have some other options here. Access, parental controls, and password management. So if you scroll down on the left side, you see something called plugins. And click browse the plugin catalog. And scroll down, there's not too much available. I'm going to click Auto Organize. And then Install. Click Got It. OK, 
Okay, it says you need to restart the server, so we'll go back up to the server dashboard and click restart. And then click restart. So I'm going to check this on my phone. I'm using Google Chrome web browser, type the IP address of my server, and colon. 8096. Enter your username and password. And then sign in. Click on uh, the movies folder and it's showing all of the movies I have. Now I can access all of my media on every device in my home that has a web browser. That's it. Thanks for watching.